hello, this is Susan Sun with Sun is Future dot net. We have uh, the driver, one of the drivers, at Cal from Cal Sol and uh, Calif University of California Berkeley, and uh, right here at the finish line. It, it sounds great. Can we get a few words from you? Um, this is great. This is like a much better result than any of us expected. Um, I am like our entire team is ecstatic right now. Basically, this this last like stage of the race um, has been really exciting because. Uh, it was like raining really hard at the beginning and a bunch of teams were passing each other and you know the favorite to win Umish uh, got stopped beside the road and we passed them and it was just really uh, it was really exciting and we, we ended up driving in uh, set, we were the second car to drive in and um, that, that's a better result than we've ever gone before so so you were not stopped by any uh, local patrol or uh, policeman or no we had no stops due to policemen and we had no stops due to our car failing in any way we just continued to drive the entire way and it's been great sunny day right but earlier in the morning I think it was raining wasn't it yeah yeah it was raining pretty hard in the morning um, it was a bit more intense most teams plan to go the speed limit um, like near the final stage of the race but because of the intense weather conditions a lot of teams slowed down and that basically allowed us to pass them. Oh, <laughs> yeah. we, we slowed down too but anything especially memorable on this journey for you um, just the um, I don't know the entire race has just been really interesting to me because I've never seen any other solar car teams before um, I've, I mean, our team has gone to other races, but I've never been to them. So I've only worked like just on our car and being able to interact with other teams and see how other people design their cars and, and everything that goes along with that has been really amazing. And, you know, I leave here knowing a ton of other people who, you know, do something very similar to our team. And I think that's cool. And terrifically energized, I hope, right? Yes. Yes. Everyone just like has so much energy. Everyone's so like collaborative and helpful to each other. Like it's not not, it's not cutthroat as you would normally expect from like a race you know everyone wants to help each other we all want to succeed and make better cars and it's just really great very good and your civil engineering student civil engineering. a name uh, my name is Alex Cuevas um, I'm going into my uh, fourth year at University of California Berkeley um, and I study civil engineering and computer science I think you might be interested in building any uh, houses uh, out of solar cells um, Probably not, uh, honestly speaking. There actually is an event that we're thinking about going to in uh, fall of 2013 that has the, uh, there's gonna be a combination of a solar car track race and uh, solar decathlon, which is um, like a competition to build better solar houses, basically similar to what we do, but to build a house instead of a car. Oh, um, where? Where is it gonna be in? That's gonna be in California, in Orange County. And so we're all excited to go because we never had an event that close to home. What's the name? Um, I don't know what the entire event name is called. Originally it's called the Solar Decathlon, where they are just building houses, and then now they're combining uh, the Formula Sun Grand Prix, which is the track race, with the Solar Decathlon. Um, I'm not sure what the hybrid event is called. But, yeah. Well, watch out for it, definitely. 2013, right? Yeah. In the fall of 2013? Yes. Exactly. Well, thank you very much, yes, and you. you have a terrific day. Yes, yes you too. <laughs> Thank you. Signing off, Susan Sun, Nanamaker at sunisforfuture.net. Thank you. Thank you.